Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. And this time we're going to be reacting to Community Season 2 Episode 11 called Abbott's Uncontrollable Christmas. Um, recap? Uh, in the last episode we see Troy turning uh, 21, so he's obviously legal enough to drink now. Mm. But it's quite funny because he didn't know that he was turning 21. That was, that was the beauty of it. So uh, everyone's like, oh, we'll take you out for your first drink uh, at 12 o'clock. And it's just so weird because Britta and uh, Jeff are just constantly like at each other's throats about where they need to go and where's the good place to go and whatever. They end up at um, it's like the little, this this bar I think it's called the Little Red Door or, or something. No, like that. that's what that's what they were fighting over. This one's as L Street and no, it's L Street, the big yeah. Little Red Door, and it's the same damn place they were talking about. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but it's it's quite jokes actually because. Shirley was a regular there so she there's loads of pictures of her just dotted around everywhere of her mm. like having tequila shots and whatever she's obviously quite embarrassed about it and she she leaves um Pierce does turn up but doesn't make it past the front door because his his chair's still kind of moving around so they leave quite early uh Britta and Jeff end up getting off with each other um but it was kind of a sad realization because Troy was looking around at one point and looking around the bar and he was like, everyone was just upset. And he tried to, she was, she had a fake ID. So she tried to, um, she, <laughs> she made tried to be the, the person in the ID. Yeah. That she, yeah. yeah. Um, Abed got hit on by, uh, someone who, uh, yeah, well, he ended up getting a drink thrown in his face. Cause he was just like, I'm just, uh, I just really wanted to talk about, well, I can't remember what they were talking Farscape. about. Farscape. Farscape. That's what it was. They just wanted, he just wanted to talk about Farscape, which is hilarious. But he ended up, Troy ended up driving them all back home. home. Um, yeah. And that's essentially how he spent his um, 21st birthday. So let's see what happens in this one. Uh, season 2, episode 11, Abba's Uncontrollable Christmas. Let's check it out. A time for me to remind you that your school acknowledges it's no special claymation? this time of year. Yeah. Oh my god, that's happened. Merry Christmas, everybody. Oh Don't my you god, they made it. Come on, Shirley. You know it's Christmas. Yes, but as a modern Christian, I've learned to be sensitive to other cultures' jealousies. <laughs> other cultures' jealousies? Good and I Jeff. was going to use the break to do all the reading scary. and dance. Oh I'm shutting myself in with my video games. I have nailed Pierce. This is the most important Christmas in the history of the universe. I'm assuming that's why we're all stop motion animated. Stop motion animated. Yeah, uh, that's it. What did you say we were, Ovid? We're stop motion animated. I don't understand what he's saying. Oh, he knows. Yeah. Is there something that we can do to help you with your situation, Ovid? What? He's right. I think we should commit to the format, starting with a song. You start. I'm sure we'll join in. <laughs> Light up the oh my god, this is oh totally interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm trying. And while yeah. you can see. This is brilliant. You say you have no memory of this morning. You don't recall the emotional crisis that caused you to take shelter in this delusion. It's not a delusion. Very. very I mean, it, I mean, it isn't a delusion. They are all stop motion. Yeah. I need to find the meaning of Christmas. Ah, well. If I can find the meaning of Christmas, everything will go back to normal. Asterisk. Abed, the dean says if you don't get help, they might kick you out of school. What? Oh. I don't suppose you know the meaning of Christmas, Lonely Snowman. Apparently it means getting fondled by singing mental cases. <laughs> Is that Chang? It does sound like Chang. I'm Chang. <laughs> what the hell's wrong with you today? I thought I made you. Yeah, you made me need to cry in the shower tonight. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm not just a psych professor. I'm also a Christmas wizard. I can help you find the meaning of Christmas. Right, guys? Mm -hmm. Oh, damn. I'm here for the cookies. So what do we do? Well, with your permission, I'd like to put you into a state of Christmas gnosis. Oh my God! With each breath, you'll feel it's beginning. All right then. The table's moving, shaking like a rocket about to take off. Now it's leaving the floor as all the ceiling fly away. Okay. What is going on? It's Planet Abed. Yeah, we're actually descending on a Planet Abed now. It's the most Christmassy planet in the universe. Its atmosphere is seven percent cinnamon. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> You've transformed into Christmas versions of yourselves. Jeff in the box. 
Troy Soldier. That's cool. Oh, that's jokes. Troy Soldier. The drum. Cool. Britta, you're Britta Bot. Uh, Just go with it. Beep, bloop. Teddy Pierce. <laughs> Teddy Pierce. <laughs> Bella Ranny. Baby Doll Shirley. <laughs> Baby, what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Except for the North Pole, the meaning of Christmas will be there. Um, well, yeah. He's kind of right. Accompany me on a journey with me through the that wonderland. all looks so sad. Or serious. It's kind of like the yellow brick road, really, isn't it? Yeah, kind of. I think I see the Cave of Frozen Memories. A great place. It's actually the Cave of Frozen Peas. <laughs> Terrific. I like how he's moving in and out of the in and out of, of it. Of whatever this is. Me, a ballerina? It's not like I'm that thin and graceful, right? Annie, it's because you're fragile and tightly wound. Damn. I would appreciate a certain level of respect, even if I am a guest in your make-believe therapy wonderland. Therapy? Alright! I am freezing Shirley with my wand. And I am ejecting <laughs> her from Planet Arbed with a Remote control Christmas pterodactyl. That's a poor save. What the hell? Christmas pterodactyl. It's got a wreath oh my it god. Well. The queen of Christmas babies thought that Christmas was her own. Well, that was sad. Humbugs? Yeah, a whole swarm of them. See? Oh, that's Jake's humbug. Oh, wow. Everyone stay perfectly sincere. Humbugs are attracted to sarcasm. Wow. Somewhere out there, Tim Burton just got a boner. Jeff, shut up! I'm just a horrible guy. Guess I'll have to go get laid! Oh, wow. Also, why does the box have bones? <laughs> That's a good point. You guys know Jesus was born in the middle of April, right? The church moved his birthday to December so they could steal the solstice from the pagans. Season's greetings from Britta Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Focusing on a part of the cave, and I'm seeing my 10th Christmas. It's my house. What room are you in? What color are the walls? Our living room. Cream color. I love plaster. how he's doing reverse psychology on the. On Is the that reverse therapy? Reverse therapy, yeah. Where's your dad? I don't know. We never know. Wow. Mom won't stop crying. I'm going to America with Grandpa. Oh, damn. Well, oh. he <laughs> is good. We lost our wizard. Yeah. Initiate self-destruct. Self oh my god, Initiate. what the hell? This slide goes directly to Pine Tree Station. You can catch a train to the North Pole. I love how he's making all this up in his mind, basically. I'm ejecting you for lying to trick me into therapy. Abed, they will kick you out of school. programmed badly. Savage. No faith in herself. Wow. Or friends. These are some... Harsh, yeah. Yeah, it's quite harsh. My mom's Polish. She loves Christmas. Every year she visits on the same day, December 9th. But Abed, today is December 9th. Um. That can't be right. She comes every year. Today must be December 8th. She didn't come, did she? Yeah. That's what the, okay, the issue is. That's what this entire episode is. It's yeah. just, he's made this up in his head. You're trying to destroy Christmas because you blame your sadness on it. I'm crawling out the window. No, you're Happy. not. Snap out of it. Whoa, whoa, who taught you therapy? Michael Jackson's day? I am a oh, professional. <laughs> I just got that joke. <laughs> so bad. I'm going to the front car. This is, um, very clever, but sad. It it's sad, than sad I but it's yeah. also quite dra dramatic. Yeah. Oh, give me a break! Why are you helping him in that? Helping our friend find the meaning of Christmas! Hey! You're actually grabbing me in real life, delinquent! Is that a, <laughs> is that a good thing, though? Where are we? Everyone's left, Pierce. I didn't want to go home. It's depressing there this time of year. Oh. Uh... It's weird that these two are at the end of all the people. And yeah, again, sad. Yeah. What are we looking at? Santa's workshop. I don't know what he's going to find in there. 
turning yourself into an animated character in search of the holiday's meaning, these were mechanisms you used to escape this. This Christmas card left where you dropped it on the floor of your door. Oh no, is it going to be her? I can't make it this year. I have a new family now. Oh no. Mommy's moved on. Yeah, that's sad. There's nothing left to do now but heal and share the experience with as many reputable journals as possible. What is wrong with this idiot? Everybody, point your magic Christmas weapons at him! Oh my god. <laughs> I'm just imagining this happening in real life. They're just pointing their fingers at him. <laughs> in, in the study. Yeah. It's the crazy notion that the longest, coldest, darkest nights can be the warmest and brightest. Yeah, and when we all agree to support each other in that insanity, something even crazier happens. It becomes true. Can we sing while we blow Duncan away? Absolutely. I can imagine they're either throwing stuff at him or they're trying to push him they're, out. They're definitely throwing stuff at him. Christmas can even be a Hanukkah thing. That's what Christmas is for. Oh, it's throwing him out. Hmm. Music and cookies and liquor and trees. That's what Christmas is for. He's got a Tommy gun. That's brilliant. <laughs> I'm leaving. Initiate self-destruct. <laughs> Don't you think that's a little bit... Actually, oh, I, I have no idea how, what happened in real life for that to happen. Probably just shut the door. The meaning of Christmas is the idea that Christmas has meaning. And it can mean whatever we want. Well said. Wow. Oh, I, I thought we'd go back to... So better now. Real Being life. normal. Yeah. yeah. Uh-oh. We're stop motion again. Oh, don't worry, man. I did this. You did? Yeah, it's cool. Huh. Why? Well, I always liked the way fake food looked on those animated shows. <laughs> it's a little odd that I see this too, though, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <way>. I'll say. <laughs> oh, okay. So weird. Troy and Abed in stop motion. <laughs> stop motion. Us. And that's the end of the episode. Um, thoughts? That was really random. Yeah. Really random. It reminds me, it reminded me a little bit of, um, there used to be a TV show called The PJs. Eddie Murphy used to do it, and that was like stop motion as well. Mm. That was brilliant. But it's, yeah, it's, 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 it had such a dark meaning to it. Yeah. It was fun. I found it funny it was... in the beginning, and then it kind of like slowly descended into, okay, this is, a bit he actually does chaos. need therapy because something snapped in him. Yeah. It's obviously, the, the sad part of it is obviously, you know, his mum's obviously got a new family and whatever, and she's she's moved on, and he's yeah. obviously grieving in his own way about it. Yeah. Um, when you think about it, actually, because he likes TV video stuff, like he's obviously this is, it's it's a cool way to depict his imagination of how he deals with this. Yeah. Um, and it was quite interesting for a Christmas. Kind of cool, but kind of sad. That's the world. Like he sort of put himself in that world and sort of escape real life in that sense. reality. Almost. Reality, yeah, yeah. yeah, and the group realized yeah. it initially. Um, it's a bit messed up. The school was gonna kick him out. It's, it's yeah, it was top. a bit extreme. Yeah, a bit but extreme. It, but in a way, it actually is a genius way of showing it to us. Yeah. Instead of it being like, because I think if you were to act that out in real life, it would probably be a bit. It'd probably be a bit weird, mm -hmm. as in it'd probably be maybe too deep for the show. So creating like a, a, a funny way of sort presenting of, it. Sort of his point of view. Yeah. 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 Right. Compared to everyone yeah, else's. Yeah. And, and obviously, the... yeah. Uh, sorry, what was I going to say? No, go on, go on, go on. And the fact that they showed like everyone else's sort of insecurities as well at the same time, according to yeah. Abed and um, obviously the meaning of Christmas for all of them, which is different and also the same thing, whatever brings you happiness at that time and the meaning of christmas is the idea of the meaning of christmas itself kind of thing yeah which is what, what you're making it um but I, I don't know what the professor see, yeah the, the professor thing was hilarious but it's interesting how they come up with the christmas episodes because hmm. the first one's about shirley accepting everyone yeah when her you know, uh, the, uh, celebrating christmas themselves yeah uh and then and this the one fight. is about Abed. yeah um, It'd be interesting to see how they how they spin the Christmas episodes like on the next one, yeah. Going forward, I think yeah. we've had that with a couple of like Halloween. We've had that with Halloween, yeah. yeah um, yeah. the first one was the um, 
uh, Abba dressed as Batman. I remember that. Yeah. And Pierce going yeah, yeah. a bit, bit crazy, and then the recent one where everyone's a zombie essentially. Zombie. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I do like the holiday episodes, but yeah, this was this was interesting because it wasn't like a big massive laugh like most of the episodes are. Yeah. This is a bit yeah, of yeah. a deep cut in the sense of what Abbott goes through. And because Abbott is, like we know, he's sort of on that spectrum, this obviously yeah. hits him a little bit different. Obviously, his mum and yeah. family, but great way to do the episode stop motion. Whoever yeah. decided that was um, it's a great idea. But yeah, great episode. Uh, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? And on to the next one. Pierce has come out of his chair. Everyone have a good break? Oh, so this must be like a... a new semester. Yeah. All I found was something called a manual in space on Laserdisc. I couldn't watch it, but it sounded sexy. <laughs> Laserdisc. I That's not the sexy part. I volunteer group that cleans the city. <laughs> volunteer work is nice. You do nice things with nice people. Oh, she met someone. Things have been looking better every day with my ex-husband. Oh. Okay. This is the guy that looks like Anderson Cooper. Oh, oh wow, no yeah. one cares about... Uh, uh, oh, that's messed up. Stop guessing. It's not a thing at all. It's just a friend. Change the subject. Oh, Change I want to know now. Subject. No! Oh. oh my god, what's he doing up there? I'm here to demand an immediate answer about whether I'm joining the study group. They well, said if no. You to give an immediate <laughs> answer, it would have to be no. Yeah. Time. <laughs> <laughs> no, they need to sleep on it. Oh my god. I'm relieved Shirley is seeing her ex-husband and not Chang. You said that out loud. Oh. I have to say everything I'm thinking. <laughs> yeah. I wish Chang hadn't had sex with Oh Shirley. my god. When? Where? Is he actually just sitting there talking? I'm Troy, I'm your roommate. But maybe he should. Secret. Maybe he should. Okay. Remember that Halloween party that none of us can remember? I don't remember anything we can remember. <laughs> <laughs> sorry all that stuff got dragged out about me having a crush on somebody. Why would you be sorry about that? You know, awkward. Why would. You don't think I actually care, do you? No, no, I just didn't want you to think I thought you cared. Okay. She does think he cares. Yeah. Now, I forget where we left off last year. Uh, Fat Neil. The Bronze Age? Thank you, Fat Neil. Neil's you don't fine. have to keep on calling him that. I trained seeing eye dogs. Oh, no. And it was graduation. <laughs> I couldn't leave without shaking all their little paws. Oh, oh no. no. <laughs> Jeff. Rich. Annie. <gasps> rich! Oh, it's is it rich. rich! No. He has lived such a long, full life. How old is he again? 30 something, I'm assuming. He has a landline and uses the word album. <laughs> yeah, the two main indicators. Rich is really smart and he knows a lot about anthropology. If we were to start studying with him, I think it could help a lot. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Is she talking about adding him in to the group? So unfair to so many people. And Pierce. You're always looking for someone old enough to find your racism subversive. I could go on and on. <laughs> it's not a compliment. We can have a little mixer and invite the people we're submitting for consideration. Thank you. I'm finished. No, I see you got oh my two God. years. That, that's, um... <laughs> oh, that's a good comeback. This is Andre, my ex-husband and boyfriend. He came to spend the day with me. What was he in before? I can't remember now, but he, he has been in something. Britta? I'm a grown ass woman and I made my decision. But how do you know it's the right one? Because I'm pregnant, okay? Ooh. She is okay. pregnant. So she is pregnant. I am eight weeks alive, which is a little surprising. <laughs> Look at these two doing the mask. Oh, <laughs> what? Nothing. <laughs> oh, no. oh my god, it is. Uh, it could be oh, Chang's. Oh god, this is so messed up. For the first semester, you knew us as that study. This group. bit is tonight, messed up because. We want to get to know you. She wants to include. Rich. rich. Why is Jeff being jealous about it? Just because it's rich. Meanwhile, Chang is going to be like, um, so you're doing yeah. all of this shit? Yeah. Dead leaves, pumpkins everywhere. Nature's Viagra, right? <laughs> and all the pumpkins just start to rot. And all the children have removed their outfits. Because that is a weird conversation. I don't know pumpkins. where they thought this metaphor was going to go. I know, like, no, I'm gonna go talk to some other people. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I would do the same thing. That's just so random. Why don't we just tell Shirley, hey, look, you slept with Chang. Let her deal with it. He's right. Sex with Chang, and they get to not remember that happened. That's a gift from God. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure she hasn't forgotten. Go to the bathroom, find parsley in your teeth that your friends hadn't told you about. 
Now, imagine your teeth are a uterus, and parsley is a half Chinese baby. <laughs> What's wrong with metaphors, well, these I guys? They don't know how to do it. Kendra, and I spell it with a Q U. Oh, no. Are you Abed? I love Star Wars. That's true. I love football. Oh, my God. We're dealing with heavier things right now than your shameless lobbying. <gasps> mm -hmm. Bruce brought kettle corn. Kettle corn. Oh, my God. <laughs> Make it in my garage. <laughs> I already like Rich better. Oh, Chang. Oh, no. It's pretty obvious Rich is the best candidate. Yeah. Looks like he's our guy. I'll be right there. This can't be happening. Chang. I he's want... going to choose Chang. You can't talk and then do a slow clap. You don't know that. <laughs> do me a favor. Let me do all the talking and follow my lead. Deal. Stop! That's Seriously, not how that works. <laughs> he flies down to volunteer in the rainforest, fixing children's cleft palates and teaching them acoustic guitar. Other than that, well, his kettle corn speaks for itself. He also might be a serial killer, you don't know. What's your case? Ben Chang is my case. <laughs> oh, wait, he just pulled out from the side. I want to say some names to you. What's on? No. Jeffrey Dahmer. Oh, God. Ted Bundy. Rich. Oh, oh my god, my so he's god. just compared him to a serial killer. <laughs> what do we know about Ben Chang? We know he's nuts. Let him finish. <laughs> we know he's dangerous. <laughs> we know he uses his name to make bad puns. Guilty as Chang. Oh my god. Stop talking. We know he dresses like a Cuban cab driver. We know he exists. What is he doing? These are all bad things. What you see may be what you don't want, but, but you get. It's also what you yeah. get. Who is this kettle corn popping phantom? <laughs> nobody is this good a person. He might just be though. And nobody Except we also know he's a bit of any worse than I this. Love how he's <laughs> God, he's so good at bullshitting. Don't Jennifer the club. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my god. Chang! It actually worked. Who's voting for Rich? Oh, Shelley. This is the best kettle corn I've ever had. If you don't vote for Rich, I'll shatter your world. <laughs> oh, oh my what? God! I'll shatter your world. I heard you. I vote for Chang. Oh, you. Hey! Go dumb, please. No! Yes! No! Oh. Chang had surely had sex. Oh with my Holly. God! <laughs> may be pregnant with this baby oh. no 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 mm -mm. pierce she crossed me <laughs> Actually, what is she really about? did forget i don't remember that no, because obviously they were nobody drunk. remembers anything oh now i'm not I'm drunk they were just photos oh, what photos we can work this out we'll figure it out oh, oh but it's all right for him to do Andre, it no! i was sleeping that stripper yeah that this is a good time to go. Rich! No! <laughs> so basically, no new members. Explain your behavior with Rich today. Either you want me or you don't. What's it going to be? I wish I could give you an answer that makes sense, but relationships are complicated. Mm, not good enough of an answer. I'm going to ask Rich out. Nothing complicated about that. I don't get it if it's, if it's because of it's, it's Annie or it's because oh. it's Rich. You have to find Andre and talk to him. I don't deny that I'm not a fan of the guy, but I'm a fan of Shirley, and this is what she wants. Mm, I don't know. Britta, you can leave. There you are. All right. Okay. Payment accepted. I'm not mad at Shirley. You're not? No. I'm mad at myself. You know, if I hadn't left her like I did, none of this would have happened. Mm-hmm. Exactly. It doesn't matter who the baby's father is. I'm in for the long run. Okay. And if it's mine, you're going to be a great football player. And if it's Chang's, we'll go for golf. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. Yeah. She has for out. Cool. He said no. Oh. oh wow. He said she's great, but too young. I mean, that's true. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, there's, yeah. So, does he like Annie? 
Pierce uh, from Kevin Swade. <laughs> Where's he running to? I, I don't know. Is he in love with her? What's going on? The thing that scares me about you was how good you make me wish I this was. This isn't Annie, is it? It's Rich! <laughs> Help me, Rich. Help me become like you. Oh, that's what? amazing. He wants to be rich. Give me that power. So I can abuse it. <laughs> Such a prick. You can't just fake being good in order to get away with doing bad things. Oh, I completely understand. Do you? I still have to try. And if you don't help me, you're a bad person. <laughs> God, he's such a dick. You got me there, guy. <laughs> Come on in and dry off. I was not expecting that. Yeah. I didn't I didn't until they went panning the camera to Ali yeah, yeah. and I realized yeah. it's not she's not speaking. Today we'll show hey. you how to make homemade hey. kettle corn with Dr. Rich. Rich, how do I get one of those giant spoons? Well, actually I carved this one myself. Do you like how do you like how Rich is playing into this? Yeah. You know they're doing a fake morning show. There are no cameras. I know. <laughs> it's just a fun way to start the day. I told you he's into it. Oh my god, Come that's brilliant. You know what that does, Sam? <laughs> Troy and I in, in the morning. And that's the oh, end of the episode. Thoughts? That was that was a bit of a roller coaster, wasn't it? I, I, I do you know what? I, I, I thought something was up because when Annie was talking to um, Jeff about like, oh, is it? Are you je not jealous? But she was hinting at it, mm. and it was like, okay, this is weird. Like, who could it be? And obviously, Rich walks in, and it's like, okay, now it makes sense. Um, the Shirley thing's out the bag, which is finally, good. yeah, that is good. Um, it's good. It's it's good that their relationship has come together, as in that Who they're able to exes. kind of yeah, that yeah. they're able to kind of look past things. Although it's weird, man. That if she, I, it's messed up. It's baby. super messed up. Well, she might not be. We don't know yet. She might not be, but more than likely, yeah. Well, I mean, she slept with a. My husband a week after yeah so yeah no, it's a, it's but a, yeah it's, it's a still a, it's a still a messed up messed up situation um it's very jerry springer very very jerry it springer. is it is it was funny though because when troy told pierce you're like oh, come on this he's it's gonna come out and I, he only told them because they didn't choose rich and he didn't get his i didn't realize that's, that's what he meant by i'm gonna shatter your world if you don't if you don't choose rich, oh, no i didn't realize that yeah same i thought i didn't know really that's what you meant by shatter your world <laughs> um but yeah that's uh, let's see how that moves forward i'm assuming we'll see uh i don't know what husband's name is Maybe? andre Andre, okay. Uh, if we'll see Andre Maybe uh, more of this, uh, we've seen, he's in a TV show, but I can't remember. Is it definitely in a TV show? Yeah, let us know in the comments because it is, and it is. I think it's a big one. Huxtables? No. Nah, I don't know. I can't remember. I thought it was that like, hanging with Mister. What is it? I don't know. I can't even remember now. What hanging with Mister yeah, Cooper? Hanging with Mister Cooper, but it's not. He's not. He's not from there. No, I don't know uh, where he's from either. Um, Chang, um, still can't get in. Hilarious. But what is in? No, he is in. Technically, he is in, right? Unless yeah, they, the next is. episode will be like, oh, we just faked all that stuff. Um, Could we decided be, yeah. we decided not to do it. Um, but yeah, the whole the whole episode is like, is he jealous of Rich? Is he jealous of? Is he jealous of Rich or is he? Uh, is he in love with Annie? Annie? Yeah, I yeah. can't remember. And it turned out he was jealous of rich but not because yeah. he was with annie because he was obviously a rich, a, a person a better person except that 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 um beginner to pottery episode where at the end he's rich is hearing yeah, his mom's voice in his head thing, yeah, <laughs> i'm still gonna yeah. play back like there's something off about this guy there's, yeah there's something still off about yeah this it's guy. like serial i mean the fact that he compared him to like ted, ted bundy, bundy <laughs> yeah um <laughs> that was weird and um, um, I can't obviously. remember the Unibomber's name now, but yeah, him. Uh, but yeah, great episode. Um, let us know your thoughts in the comments. What did you think of the episode and our reaction to it? But other than that, please like, share, subscribe, click the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next one. See ya.